Gamescom 2014 takes place in Cologne next week, running from the 13th to the 17th of August. In this week's Instant Expert, we're rounding up everything you need to know about Europe's most important gaming event. Before we get to the details, let's kick off with the dates. Just like last year, the first day will only be open to industry and media visitors. Public access begins the following day on August the 14th. Both Sony and Microsoft will be holding press conferences before that though on the 12th of August. We'll talk about Sony next. Looking back at 2013, you realise that Sony take Gamescom pretty seriously. We had the PS4 launch lineup and hardware price cuts. The scale of this, if rumours are to be believed, may even be bigger than E3. We'll find out when their press conference begins at 7pm UK time, 11am Pacific Standard Time on August the 12th. Bloodborne will allegedly be playable on the show floor, and we know we'll see more of Drive Club, The Order 1886 and Project Morpheus. You can also expect updates about LBP3, the PS4 and Vita versions of Minecraft, Hotline Miami 2 and Infamous First Light. Like last year, there looks to be plenty of support for the Vita. At the very least, we'll see Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper collections. And finally, as we've got used to doing prior to every single conference there is, we're keeping everything crossed for The Last Guardian, although truthfully, we're not hopeful. Moving on to Microsoft, the fact that they're holding a keynote on the 12th also suggests this is a big deal. The entire event is being streamed through Xbox Live, Xbox.com and the Xbox Twitch channel. The briefing kicks off at 1pm UK time, 5am Pacific Standard Time. We understand that Remedy will demo Quantum Break, an Xbox One exclusive which we've only seen snippets of so far. Just like last year, you can also expect to see exclusive content for key titles. You should also keep your eyes peeled for more info about the big Xbox One exclusives. The launch campaign for Sunset Overdrive is set to ramp up and we're bound to see more of Forza Horizon 2. On to Nintendo next, who won't be having a conference but will still make a strong showing nonetheless. There's a stack of first-party Wii U exclusives on show, including Bayonetta 2, Splatoon and Yoshi's Woolly World. Ninty will also be holding another Super Smash Bros. tournament. There's no word yet as to whether they'll repeat the well-received Nintendo Treehouse approach, but some live streaming presence wouldn't be surprising. Aside from that, the other big titles we can expect to see more of are Hyrule Warriors and Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker for Wii U and Fantasy Life and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for 3DS. Next up we've got Valve. We're not even going to mention the H word, although we do remain ever hopeful. Instead, we know that Valve is likely to show off the new Steam controller to the Gamescom attendees, thanks to a specific listing on the official website. The new model is noticeably different from the original, losing the touchscreen in favour of standard face buttons. The dual haptic touchpads remain. Aside from that, we don't know for definite what else we'll see from Valve. We'll move on to the big third-party developers next, starting with EA. Arguably, it's Bioware that is responsible for EA's most exciting prospects. Expect more deliciously deep Dragon Age Inquisition info and perhaps more Mass Effect details after the revealing Comic-Con panel. There's also the new IP which was hinted at at E3. We've seen a trailer for this already, simply entitled Nightmare. On top of this, we can hope for more details about FIFA, The Sims, Battlefield Hardline and Criterion's new, as yet unnamed racer. A strong dice showing would top this off nicely, especially if we got fresh gameplay from Mirror's Edge 2 or Star Wars Battlefront. As long as it's not just more concept art, we'll be happy. Konami Next, whose Gamescom lineup will be headlined by Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, and PES 2015. The publisher has promised brand new Phantom Pain details, as well as a stand which will show off the muscle of Kojima Productions' Fox engine. Aside from all this, we don't know exactly what to expect, but every single showing of the Phantom Pain so far has been worth tuning in for. Moving on to Square Enix, you can expect hands-on gameplay from Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris and Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. There will also be a heavy push for Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn, with multiple booths set up at the events. And after a brief glimpse of it at E3, it would be awesome to see more of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Activision next, and we know that the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal is happening, with a live stream scheduled for August the 11th. Activision has also confirmed that the Advanced Warfare multiplayer will be playable at Gamescom. Of course, the Destiny beta has been and gone, but we may yet see further snippets of information. 
And with everyone jumping on the figurine bandwagon these days, we can expect to see some more from the people that kicked it off with Skylanders Swap Force. Dead Island 2 is the big Deep Silver title, and we know it'll be playable for the first time ever at Gamescom. Dead Island 2 launches in spring 2015, and it's being developed by Jaeger as opposed to previous developer Techland. As well as Dead Island 2, Deep Silver will be showing off Metro Redux, Risen 3 Titan Lords, Sacred 3 and Dead Island Epidemic, a Dead Island themed free to play MOBA. After a brief snippet from E3, we might also hope to see more from Homefront the Revolution. And finally we've got Ubisoft. They had a huge E3 showing, but we can expect to see more of The Crew, Just Dance, Assassin's Creed Unity, Tom Clancy's The Division and perhaps a fresh UbiArt title. There has also been very little word yet on the last gen exclusive Assassin's Creed name which is codenamed Comet, so we could see that as well. It's also inevitable that we'll see more of two show-stopping titles from E3, Rainbow Six Siege and Far Cry 4. Can we hope for Beyond Good and Evil 2? We'll file that one in the same box as The Last Guardian. If you want more from Gamescom, stay tuned to CVG for our upcoming video running down all the most anticipated titles of the show and hit subscribe now to get the latest news, previews and analysis from the show floor.